Rodrigo Vargas will discuss the missing link in North America's carbon cycle. I decided to change completely. So it's going to be an improvisation. And I do this because I'm going to do it because I think it's a good opportunity to share an idea that I have been thinking about. I think it was an opportunity, well, it is an opportunity for me to share an idea that is coming from my field in science, but I cannot do it by myself. I need help from artists. So I can give you a time series of information that tells you how much CO2 is coming into the ecosystem, how it's coming out to the ecosystem. The point is that I have different frequencies. Now, here is the idea, and I need help from musicians. All this information, it is something that we measure, this reality. This is what we call it, the breathing of an ecosystem. Now, the question for the musicians. Can I add some type of notes, some type of, of, of musical information, and force those notes or that musical information to this time series that when I add up, can that become a symphony? But the symphony is driven by measurements of the breathing of the ecosystems across the world. So we can actually, I can give you the breathing of the Amazon. Can we make music derived from the breathing of the Amazon? When we talk about greenhouse gas fluxes, it's something hard to, to imagine because you don't see these things. I mean, plants are breathing all the time. But when I tell everyone, well, we're measuring how CO2 is exchanging for between the land and the atmosphere. Well, that's meaningless to many people. But if we translate those, that information that we're measuring from this process, ecological process, into music, then it becomes something more tangible for people. And then the question, and from, a, I guess, a human, more or not, for, also from the science level, would be, does the tundra sound different than the Amazon?